What's going on, y'all? This is Francisco with Covenant Dispatch LLC, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can already see in the title, in this video, I wanted to break down a step-by-step, -step, actually three-step process on how you can leverage your independent freight dispatch company to start a trucking company with no trucks being owned by yourself, meaning you don't have to go out there and actually buy a truck but you can still operate and run a trucking company without owning any trucks. Now I'm gonna get into the details of that, but first of all, I just wanted to say, I've said it in previous videos before on my YouTube channel, and I try to stress it also when I do one-on-one -on -one consultations and also, you know, just when I'm speaking to anybody, giving them any kind of information about independent freight dispatching. One of the things I always say is this, independent freight dispatching is a great way to learn the industry, get your foot in the industry, um, and you know, with little to no cost, right? You're not spending too much money to get started, but you're able to get your foot in the door and begin to learn about the freight logistics industry, right? So with that being said, before I go any further, if you have not already done it, please smash that like button so that my videos can reach more broader audiences. All right, let's jump right into the video and make this really brief. Um, so even going back to what I said previously, uh, picking up where I left off, it's a great way as an independent freight dispatcher to learn the industry, get into the industry without having to spend too much overhead costs, right? But one of the things I always say is don't limit yourself just to being an independent freight dispatcher. Learn some of the different ways that you can leverage your company in order to open up more opportunities within the industry of freight logistics. So in this video, I'm actually going to title this uh, this video. Well, not this video, but I'm going to title this three-step plan as the nine month goal. You know what? I could even call it the nine month challenge. What do you guys think about that? I might come up with a prize if anybody actually does this, right? I might come up with a prize, right? Maybe like a free MacBook or something. I don't know. Anyways, so um, in this video, right? The reason why I call it the nine month goal is this, right? Your first three months as an independent freight dispatcher is going to be stressful. I'm not going to lie. Some people have different um, startup experiences, but typically it's stressful because you're an entrepreneur. You're learning about not only the freight industry, the freight dispatch industry, but you're also learning how it is to be your own business owner, right? To be self-employed. You're learning about taxes and things like that, right? So I give it the first three months. Your first three months, you're looking for truck drivers. You're looking to get established. You're looking to get set up and organized and to get yourself in a motion of dispatching, right? So let's just say your first three months, you're going to look to get four trucks, right? That's your goal, to get four trucks. Now, hypothetically speaking, let's just say that your revenue, you got four trucks, you know, you did all the due diligence, you did everything you had to do. Now you finally have four trucks and you're in the motion of dispatching, right? Let's just say, and I'm just going to give broad numbers um, uh, I'm just going to give general examples of numbers, but let's just say each truck that you dispatch for on a weekly basis, based upon whatever you charge them for your dispatch service, generates your company $500, right? Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to add that up, right? That's $2,000 per week, right? Now, if we were to add that to our monthly revenue, I should say one monthly, but you guys get what I mean. One month. Oops. Let me just use my one month revenue is going to end up being $8,000. Now, as a business owner, you have taxes and things like that, expenses. Let's just say $7,000 is your actual revenue for that month, right? So step number one is you're going to want to get four drivers and you're going to want to average out a weekly revenue of $2,000 Given taxes and things like that, you're going to generate a monthly revenue of $7,000. Now, that's not bad. $7,000, you know, it's not impossible to make, right? I did a video already. If you haven't saw the video at the end of this one, I'll post that video. But I show in November how I made uh, somewhere around $9,000 in revenue, right? So this is not an impossible number. And these aren't impossible numbers also, right? So anyways, you get your four tr uh, trucks right? They're giving you a revenue of about 7,000 net income per month, right? These are your first three months. Step number two, you want to take a, you want to take six months. And in those six months, you want to save $1,200. 
and fifty dollars right i'm sorry i didn't mean to add that column but one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars you're gonna to want to save that for six months, right? And you're gonna to want to save that $1,250 every month, right? So monthly. So if you save it monthly for six months, you'll get a total of $7,500. Now, first three months, you learned the industry, you got some trucks, they're making you about 7,000 net income every month. Now you take six months and you say, you know what, I'm going to take six months and I'm going to store $1,250 uh, every month. By the end of the six months, you reach your nine month goal. Now you have $7,500 that you have saved up on top of that. You're still left with, uh, if, if you take uh, $1,250, from 7,000, you're still left with, what is that? Uh, six, I'm sorry, 5,750 or something like that. You're still left with um, a decent amount of money to be able to take care of business expenses, bills, and your personal life and things like that. So $1,250, you're now at $7,500, and you're still making this income, right? Because you're still dispatching. Now, step number three is to begin your trucking company now i'm not going to go in super detail and i'll explain it a little bit more at the end of the video but to start a trucking company it really isn't rocket sciences now there are nuances and things like that there are things that you have to you know variables you have to pay attention to and stuff like that just to make sure you're in compliance um, but for the most part it's very general and it, it won't take up too much of your time to where you can't still dispatch so you have your $7,500 and you're still generating that income, right? Now, to start your uh, trucking company, first thing is you're going to need to go to the FMCSA and you're going to need to get your MC act, uh, authority for you to be able to, you know, uh, hire truck drivers and things like that, right? Um, and to haul freight interstate. The other thing you're going to need is permits. Hopefully you guys can still see um, on here. Next thing you need is your permits. Your permits are going to run you anywhere from... 110 now i do want to add a disclaimer i'm going to show you guys the general things that you need just so that you guys have a blueprint and an outline to encourage you to do this i will be posting a step-by-step -step informative video uh showing you guys in this nine month challenge or goal um, on how you can actually uh, utilize this step uh three-step plan and outline to do this and then once you get to the part of starting your trucking company I'm going to explain it more in detail and I'm going to post that video in my independent freight dispatcher course. Reason being is because there are some variables, like I said, that I'll have to explain more in detail. I won't have the time of the day to post it on this video for my YouTube uh, family. Plus, on top of that, there are people who purchase my independent freight dispatcher course and I don't want to be, uh, you know, it, I think it's only fair that I give them this information um, in detail because they purchased the course. The uh, link for my course is in the description under this video if you do want to access it. I always run promos. Um, it's only $200. It has a lot of information on it. Um, and I also do giveaways usually every month. So anyways, going back to this video. Uh, so you're going to want to get your MC. You're, you're going to want to get your permit. You're going to need things like, you know, I'm going to just label it as miscellane miscellaneous items. But you're going to want to get things like your ELD, your truck de decals, maybe a fuel card, factoring, drug program, all of those things. Let's just round that up to $650, right? The next step is you're going to want to get insurance. Now, insurance is going to be the most um, expensive thing, right? When I started my trucking company, I think I paid somewhere around $3,500 just for the deposit on my premium, right? But it varies depending on the person and depending on the equipment type you get and things of that nature. So let's just say, for example, you're coasting somewhere around $2,800 uh, to $3,800. Oops. $2,800 to $3,800. Now, you've accumulated a total fee, right, of $4,860, right? If you add the 300, the 110, if you add the 650, um, and if you add, let's just say $3,800 that you have to pay, you've accumulated a total amount of 4,000. Let me go over here now, since I don't have much room, $4,860. Now, remember you have this 7,000 
$500 that you have saved because for six months you saved $1,250 per month. On top of that, you're still making that revenue, right? So let's just say you dip into that saving that you have, $7,500. Well, if you take that $7,500 and subtract $4,860, you're going to be left with $2,640. Now, that's what you have left after getting all the equipment you need to start your trucking company. Now, once you get your insurance, you're going to have a monthly bill, right? Once you get some of the miscellaneous, uh, miscellaneous items that I didn't list specifically in this video, once you get some of those things, you're going to uh, incur a monthly bill. Let's just say your monthly bill puts you somewhere at, uh, you know, let's just say $1,700, right? Because mind you, your premium for your insurance every month is going to be Anywhere from twelve hundred to seventeen, eighteen hundred. I think for me when I started it was sixteen hundred or something like that. Um, and plus premiums have gone up a little bit. But let's just narrow it down to seventeen hundred, right? Well, if you take two thousand six hundred and forty and you subtract seventeen hundred, you're left with nine hundred and forty dollars, right? Keep in mind you're still generating this income, right? You're still generating your two thousand dollars per week because to begin this process of starting a trucking company is not, you're not taking time out of your day to dispatch, right? These are just things that you can do on the side periodically throughout the week, right? So now that you got all of these things, right? You're left with 940 plus your income of $2,000 per month. I'm sorry, $2,000 per week, giving you a net income of $7,000 per month. You're left with 940 and now you have all the deep, I'm sorry, you have all the equipment you need to start your trucking company. Now, the next step is, finding drivers to lease onto your company. Now, let me just explain this very briefly and then I'll wrap this video up so that you guys can understand what do you mean by starting a trucking company without actually buying a truck? Well, um, one of the ways that trucking companies um, set up their business model is they lease on what's called owner operators under their authority, meaning that they, the trucking company, uh, I'm sorry, the truck driver who's an owner operator has their own truck their own LLC, their own business, whether it's sole prop, however they have it, they have their own business and they utilize the MC authority, which allows you to legally haul freight interstate. They utilize another company's MC and then, you know, they, and then the, the trucking company, um, whether that be you and then the owner operator will come into an agreement as far as what you'll charge them for utilizing your MC. Now, of course, they're a liability because they're using your company, but there are companies, trucking companies, who formulate their whole business model on leasing on trucks. My mom works for a trucking company um, here in central Pennsylvania. They have about eight to nine fleets all across uh, the United States. Every one of their trucks, um, especially in my mom's uh, terminal, are owner operators, meaning that the company she works for doesn't own any of the trucks. They just all lease under her company and they make very good money. There are plenty of other companies that do the same. And so I just wanted to show you how you can leverage your independent freight dispatch company to eventually start your own trucking company. Now you can also start a freight brokerage company. And like I said, I'm going to be posting a lot more content on this channel as far as starting your own trucking company, even starting your own brokerage company and things like that. Now, let me answer one more question before wrapping it up because I just thought about it. Some of you might be asking, well, how am I going to start an insurance policy if I don't own a truck or have a VIN number? People, there are ways that you can get around that. Um, if you're an insurance, I had it when I first started my trucking company. At the moment, I didn't have the actual truck, but my insurance agent, we used the decoy VIN number to be able to uh, get the policy started. Um, and then I just switched it over, right? Now, obviously, you don't want to use a decoy VIN and be sitting for months, you know, insuring a truck that, you know, is not even in operation and from your company. But just be smart and be business minded, right? That's all it is. Use this outline, but be business minded. Once you got all the equipment that you need uh, to start your trucking company and begin to lease on owner operators, the next step is to market, 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 find some truck drivers that can go into your, your company. You already paid $1,700 for the first month. So now you have a one month uh, gap of time that you're able to look for truck drivers, get on the low boards, find some lanes um, and things like that. Um, and then obviously, like I said, in more detail, I'll, exp I'll post this video 
um, in more detail and in more depth in my independent freight dispatcher course, um, showing you guys where do I go to get my MC, what kind of permits do I need, what are those miscellaneous items, what uh, insurance companies uh, do I recommend, how do I go about scouting drivers, all of that good stuff. I'm going to put it in my independent freight dispatcher course, but for my YouTube family, I just wanted to give you guys an outline and just stress the fact that if you're an independent freight dispatcher, don't limit yourself just to that, but open up doors for other opportunities in the industry of freight logistics. So I hope this video helped you in some type of way. If you didn't like the video already, please hit the like button, subscribe, um, comment, let me know your guys' thoughts, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Wow. <laughs>